Hey everyone, this is Troy from TroyPoint.com and in this video I will show you how to install Mouse Toggle on Android TV or Google TV streaming devices. Mouse Toggle will provide you with a handy mouse pointer that you can use to navigate apps designed for phones and tablets that you can sideload onto your Android TV box. Speaking of these apps, be sure to get my free secret app store guide that will show you how to install thousands of apps not available through Google Play Store or Amazon App Store for those of you using Fire TV devices. To get my free guide, simply click the link in the video description or scan this QR code with the camera app on your phone or tablet. The free guide will be delivered to your email inbox immediately. In this video, I'm using the popular $19 Walmart on Google TV 4K streaming box, but the same process will work on all Android TV, Google TV systems. You can also find a screenshot guide of this tutorial on our website, and I will link to that in the video description along with other important resources. Now, the first thing I want to do is turn on developer options. I'm gonna click the settings gear icon, move down, hover over system, hover over about, move over, move down, and I'm going to highlight Android TV OS build, and I'm going to click that seven times. It says you are now a developer. Now I'm going to click the back button on my remote, move down, and developer options is now in this list. I'm going to move back over to the right, and I want to turn on USB debugging. So I'm going to click that, click OK. Now, on an NVIDIA Shield, you will also want to make sure that you enable network debugging as well. Or if you're using a different Android TV box with network debugging in this list, go ahead and enable it. Now, as an additional tip, something else that I like doing when I'm in here, I like moving down here and changing all three of these to 0.5. Just going to make things quicker as far as switching between pages and menus. Okay, now I'm gonna go back to the home screen. And now I want to install the free application called Downloader. I'm gonna to go to Apps, move down. I'm gonna click Search for Apps and Games. Type in Downloader. Search for that. Sorry, Downloader isn't available on now, this TV. Now, if you see this here, Sorry, Downloader isn't available on this TV, what I suggest doing is activating voice search on the remote by clicking the microphone button and then say open Google Play. Open Google Play. Got it. For some reason this is a bug in Google TV. Unfortunately they haven't fixed it yet but you can still get to what you're looking for here. And then just search through here for downloader. And you'll see right when I type in the first few letters, it shows up. I'm going to click Downloader. Click Install. I'm going to open it. Click Allow. Click OK. Now I'm going to click the Up button on my remote. Put the cursor in the URL box. Click the OK button on my remote again. And I'm going to type in the code 2509-2509. Hit the enter button. This is going to open the free Troy Point toolbox. Wait for the five second load screen. Okay, when this page first loads, I strongly suggest marking this as a favorite within the downloader app. We have dozens of applications in here that you can install that aren't available within the Google Play Store. Also, many of our tutorials are based off of this toolbox. It's just quicker to get to this without typing in the code and waiting for the five second load screen. To add this as a favorite, simply hold down on the OK or Select button of your remote for a few seconds. Click Add Current Page to Favorites. When the keyboard pops up, click the Back button on your remote to get rid of it. Move down, click Save. And now in the future, when you come in here, all you have to do is go to Favorites, click Troy Point Toolbox, and it will load immediately without waiting for the five second load screen and you don't have to type in the code. Okay, there's two applications I want to install. I want to install the Mouse Toggle app, 
and I also want to install Sideload Launcher. So I'm going to scroll down until I find those apps. Here's the first one, Sideload Launcher. Now the reason we want to install Sideload Launcher is because there are apps that we sideload to the device that will not show their shortcuts on the home screen or on the apps screen. This will allow you to get to all the applications that you install regardless of whether Android TV or Google TV supports the app shortcuts. So I'm going to click download. Now when you first go to download something through download you're going to get this here. Click settings and you want to turn on unknown apps for the downloader app. Click that and now it's asking to install. Now on your device if it doesn't ask to install here click the back button and then install it on the screen that we were on previously. Install. Okay, I'm going to click done. I don't need to open this just yet. We'll get to this here in a little bit. I'm going to click the back button on my remote. Go back to the toolbox. Now I want to delete this installation file. There's no need to leave these on the device. Okay, now I'm going to scroll down until I see the mouse toggle app. And here is the one we want, Android TV, Google TV, mouse toggle. Now you're going to also see there's one for NVIDIA Shield right here. So if you're using an NVIDIA Shield, this is the one that you want. All other Android TV, Google TV systems will use this one right here. Very important that you choose the right one. I'm going to click download, install, click done, delete, and delete. Okay, the applications are installed that I need. I'm going to go back to the home screen and you're going to see the apps here on the main screen. Sideload Launcher and Mouse for Android TV. Okay, I'm going to launch Mouse for Android TV. I'm going to move down and highlight Setup Permissions. You're going to see there in the red it shows the types of permissions that we need to grant to make this work accessibility permissions and overlay permissions. So I'm going to click Setup Permissions. I'm going to enable Mouse for Android TV for Allow Display Over Other Apps. Click the Back button. And I want to move down here on this page and turn on Mouse Toggle Service. Just click that and then enable it. Click OK, back button a few times, and now you will see at the top all the permissions have been granted and they have turned green. Okay, now I'm going to move down all the way to the bottom. Now you're going to see there's all kinds of different things that we can change for the settings as far as how big the mouse is, the scroll speed, and things like that. But for now, we first want to define a boss key. And the boss key is the button on the remote that you want to push to activate mouse toggle. I'm going to click the detect button. Okay, it tells us to press and hold a key on the remote for three seconds, then release it to set it as the boss key. Now, I suggest picking a key on the remote that doesn't actually open an application. Because every time you hold down on this button, it's going to open that application. So what I like doing is using the channel up and channel down buttons on the remote, one of those. That way an application isn't going to open every time I enable mouse toggle. So I'm going to hold down on the channel up button for three seconds. And the code for that up button on the remote is 166. I'm going to click yes. New boss key is 166. Okay, let's see if this works. I'm going to hold down on the channel up button for a few seconds and it says we're in mouse mode. And as you can see the pointer is moving around the screen the way it should and again you can tune these settings on this page to how you want them as far as mouse size, how fast the mouse is moving and other things as well. I'm going to press the channel up button again and now you're going to see that goes into scroll mode. Now I can use the up and down buttons on my D-pad. And when I do that, I get this here. You must click 
always allow from this computer. I need to get out of mouse mode. So I'm going to hold down on the channel up button to get out of mouse mode so I can check this box. Check it. And then click allow. So I hold down on the channel up button again. That activates mouse mode. Press the channel up button again. And now scroll mode is enabled. And I'll show you how that works here in a different application where we can actually scroll. And then if I press the channel up button again, scroll mode is disabled. And we're back to the regular pointer. And then to exit mouse mode, all I need to do is hold down on the channel up button for a few seconds. And D-pad mode is back to where our normal navigation up, down, left, right. Okay, I'm going to go back to the home screen. Now I'm going to launch the virus total application that requires a mouse toggle to work properly. Now you're going to see that that application is not in my list even though it's installed and that's why I installed Sideload Launcher earlier in this tutorial. So I'm going to launch Sideload Launcher. Click OK. Here's Virus Total. I'm going to open that. I'm going to hold down on the channel up button for a few seconds to activate mouse. And now I should be able to click around this app. And you will see it is working. Now let's say I want to scroll on this page. I'm going to push the channel up button again to get into scroll mode. I'm going to press the down button on the D-pad and you'll see we can now scroll down and up. Press channel up button again. Scroll mode is now disabled and we're back just to regular mouse mode. And you'll notice if you go to the left top right or bottom and just keep pressing it'll come out on the other side and if I want to get back to regular d-pad mode I'm gonna hold down on the channel up button for a few seconds until it says d-pad mode and now I'm back to the regular mode so there you go guys that is how you can install mouse toggle on an Android TV or Google TV device this opens a world of new possibilities due to the fact that you can now install thousands of apps meant for phones and tablets that you normally can't use on a TV screen. And again, be sure to get my free secret app guide that will show you how to install thousands of apps not available within Google Play Store. Simply click the link in the video description to get that or scan this QR code with the camera app on your phone or tablet and the guide will be delivered to your email inbox immediately. Please be sure to hit the thumbs up button, subscribe to my channel, and click the bell icon to be notified when I release new videos like this in the future. And as always, thank you for following Troy Point. Have an awesome day.